This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Stick around to the end of the video to find out more. Hello everyone! I hope you're having a great day. Oh, what a beautiful day it is. Welcome back to my second channel. If you stumbled across this video thinking it was my main channel, this is actually my second channel. Over here we like to do things a little bit differently. I like to do a little bit less structured of videos, get a little bit sillier, a little bit wackier, a little bit goofier, and I also like to drink LaCroix. I've been pretty outspoken about enjoying a LaCroix every now and again on this channel. And if you're a longtime viewer of this channel, then you're probably wondering what flavor of LaCroix I'm gonna be drinking today. And that's a great question because I'm actually, I'm actually gonna be drinking all of them. I'm gonna be drinking every flavor. A lot of separate people actually gave me this idea because in whatever video I tasted the watermelon LaCroix and I didn't like it, people said, oh, well you should taste all of them and figure out which ones you like the best. So I have, I'm almost certain I have every flavor here except limoncello and watermelon, but actually I, I think I still have watermelon in the fridge because I didn't drink all of it because it was nasty. So let me go get that. Okay, so the only flavor I don't have is limoncello. Limoncello is pretty hard to come by because it's still a pretty new flavor and also it is very highly coveted. So I couldn't find any for this video, but rest assured, I know where that's going. So we don't even have to worry about it. I don't even have to taste it. Oh, also before we get started, there's new colors of the Greg t-shirts and Greg hoodies. There's like a yellow and orange Greg hoodie and a pink like coral Greg t-shirt and also this blue t-shirt. So if you want to get any of these, go to dandygonzalez.store. I think they're pretty fun summer colors. And without further ado, it's time to drink a ton of LaCroix. I don't know which flavor we should start with. Maybe we'll just go with whatever's on the top of the tier list here. All right, we've got lemon. Let me see if I can find the lemon. Lemon. Lemon is one of those flavors that I think is a lot like lime. It's pretty reliable. A lemon's never gonna let you down and it's good for any occasion. So let's go ahead and take a sip and see how we feel. Mm. Both lemon and lime are kind of like if you took Sprite and made it light. It's a light Sprite. And by light, I mean if you took out any of the sweetness and also I guess the lime flavor because it's lemon and lime. But if you're like trying to cut soda and you're craving a Sprite, I'd say a lemon or a lime. It'll do, it'll do you wonders. I would say lemon probably honestly goes in A tier. It's a great flavor, it's fun. It's not too crazy, so you're not gonna get tired of it. I feel like one of the downsides of LaCroix is they only come in like really big packs of like eight or 12. So like if you buy one for the week, then you're gonna get really tired of the flavor after the week. But lemon is just like, it's just like drinking lemon water basically. It's a classic, you can't go wrong. That's a good choice. Okay, what's next? Uh-oh, coconut. A highly controversial flavor. Some people love coconut. Coconut, some people hate coconut and by that I mean I don't actually I don't know if anyone I, I've ever I don't know if I've ever heard anyone say they like coconut but a lot of people hate coconut I personally I, I've only had it a couple times and one of the time was while filming the music video for the LaCroix song I just wrote it in because it was a flavor that I knew existed but I haven't e I hadn't even tried it yet at the time of making that song so that was my first exposure to it and for the video I had to drink a lot of it, it kind of grossed me out how much of it I had to drink and I ended up not really liking it, but it's been a while since then. So let's see if I like it now. Mm. See, there's there's two sides of this. There's two sides of this coin here. You get kind of like a sunscreen taste because of course like any sunscreen kind of has like a coconutty tropical vibe to it. But you also get kind of like a pina colada taste, which I really like. I know not a lot of people like coconut. I really like coconut flavored things. Like I like, I, I love me a good almond joy. I love me a good pina colada. I do feel like by the end of this can, I would be tired of this flavor because it's just like a little bit too much. It's also kind of like artificial tasting. I'm gonna put it maybe in D tier. It's not like offensive by any means, but I don't think that I would ever pick it. I definitely don't think I would ever buy like a whole pack of it. And I definitely feel like if I drink this whole can, I would not feel good about it. So it's going in D tier. Okay, berry. Shoot, I don't know if I've tried berry. Where is berry? I'm very excited Ooh, to try oh berry. My God. <laughs> what does it smell like? Maybe raspberry? Hmm. Yeah, I think that's I think that's like a raspberry flavor. Honestly, it's refreshing, but I don't know if I really fuck with the flavor that much. Like, I've never really been a big berry person. In fact, ever since I was a kid, and I I don't know if this story's gonna make sense to anyone, but like, what, did anyone else like have siblings and each sibling had like a specific color that everything they had would be that color? Like in my house, everything I would have would be blue and everything my brother would have would be green and my sister would be like red or pink. So like I would have a blue plate with dinner and my cup would be 
blue always, so we would always know like whose was whose. Because blue was like my favorite color, and also it just came to be associated with me. So then anytime like my grandparents would get us candy or anything, they'd always get my brother like green apple and my sister pink like strawberry or something like that, and they would get me blue. And for some reason, a lot of times blue would be raspberry. I guess they couldn't come up with another blue flavor, so it would just be blue raspberry. And I really didn't like it. It's grown on me a little bit since then, but I, d I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't ever pick it myself, but I would, it, I would drink a can of it. It is pretty refreshing. So I'm gonna put it maybe in C tier. It's just kind of like, meh, I don't really care, you know? Why should I care about a berry, about a berry LaCroix? Oh, shit. Next flavor is tangerine. So I have tried this before and I already know that I don't really like it, but I'm gonna try it again for the sake of this experiment. And while I open this can, I'd like to talk about LaCroix in a broader sense because there seem to be two different camps of people that watch this channel. There seem to be people that also enjoy LaCroix and are curious to know my thoughts on every flavor. And then there are also people who hate LaCroix. I should say that I also used to hate LaCroix. I used to think it was so gross. In fact, I remember when I was like in middle school, I used to play Risk a lot with my friends. And sometimes to make the stakes more interesting, we would make it so the loser of the game would have to drink a whole can of LaCroix because our parents would always have LaCroix my friend's parents would always have LaCroix. So we all hated LaCroix so much that we would make the losing friend drink an entire can of LaCroix. And usually they couldn't even finish a can because it was so nasty. But when I was in college, I got like way too into soda and I started drinking it way too much. And then like even after college, when Drew was staying with us to prepare for the tour, he drank a lot of lime LaCroix. So I was like, oh, that sounds kind of interesting. Can I try some? And at first I didn't really like it. At first it definitely tastes like, like a soda fountain soda but like the syrup is not working and so you barely get any flavor so it's just like seltzer water and a, like a tiny minuscule amount of flavor yeah Tangerine, I think might be like the most flavorful LaCroix. And that's not necessarily a good thing because I don't really like, I don't really like the tangerininess. It tastes, this one tastes so much like a tangerine. It literally feels like biting into a tangerine. I just think that's a little bit too much for LaCroix. LaCroix is not supposed to have that much flavor. Uh, I'm gonna put it in D tier. Yeah, I don't really like tangerine. So with all that being said, I feel like the, the appeal of LaCroix to me isn't to have something like super flavorful. Like soda is like so sweet and sugary. LaCroix is like a whole different thing. It's it's like, it's like if you like lemon water at a restaurant or something like that, where you like want some water, but you want just like a tiny little bit of flavor to it. It also has carbonation in it, which makes it a little more interesting. I think that's what makes it so gross to most people at first, because you're not used to tasting carbonated things that don't have a ton of flavor in them. Like the only carbonated things you ever drink are like Coke or Sprite that have like a ton of sugar in them. So tasting something that's carbonated without like a lot of flavor is really jarring at first. So that's what, that's why it takes a while to get used to. Okay, orange. Okay, we're staying in the, the orange realm of things. I don't think I've had orange. I've only had tangerine. So let's see if orange is any better than tangerine. Oh yeah. That's a much more classic orange flavor. The first time I had tangerine, I thought it was gonna be like orange flavored, but it's really like tangerine flavored. Like if you can picture the difference between like the flavor of like an orange crushed soda or like orange juice versus like a cutie, one of those little tangerines, that's the difference between these two LaCroix. This tastes much more like a, a substitute for like a crush or something like that. I still can't say I'm a huge fan. I don't really like orange flavored things that much. Like if I was drinking soda, I would never reach for like a Fanta or a crush on my own. But for what it is, it's pretty good. I I think that falls in the same category as berry. So that's gonna go in the C category. Actually, you know, no, I like it a little bit more than that. I'm gonna put it in the B category. Yeah, that's actually quite delightful. That's actually, um, Quite fun. Raz Cran. Oh shit, we're getting crazy now. So I'm pretty sure berry was raspberry. And now they throw in Raz Cran into the mix? That's raspberry plus cranberry? That's just that's a little bit crazy, don't you think? More like rat more like Raz Crazeberry. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't had this one either, so we'll we'll see how it goes. It smells really similar to the berry. They smell exactly the same, except Raz Cranberry smells more. Like, it smells like more things. It smells like berry plus more. Probably Cran. 
Now, this might upset a lot of people, but I don't really like cranberry. I don't like cranberry flavored anything. Uh, that's going in the D tier. It's not like offensive, but it's just a flavor I don't really like. So, okay, watermelon. Oh, who remembers how much I liked watermelon before? Actually, this is like the only cold one because this is the only one that's been in my fridge. The rest of them have been warm, I forgot to mention. And you know what? I'm willing to admit that the last time I tried watermelon, I had recently brushed my teeth. So I was definitely disgusted by watermelon at first, but I've realized since then that maybe it was because I had just brushed my teeth. I had that weird feeling in my mouth that like, you know, everything tastes kind of bitter. So actually maybe I'll enjoy this now. We shall see. <laughs> oh, no, it's still bad. Ugh, yeah. No, I gotta be honest. Somehow this tastes like the most artificial out of any LaCroix flavor I've had. That's like, it doesn't taste like a watermelon. It tastes like uh, a watermelon Jolly Rancher, but it also tastes like if somehow like the watermelon Jolly Rancher had like a Jolly Rancher rind on it and you just took the rind and dissolved it in, in sparkling water. And that's what this tastes like. No, that's gross. I don't like that. That's going in F tier. Yeah, fuck Watermelon LaCroix. Uh, all my homies hate Watermelon LaCroix. Pest to Q? More like nasty Q. No, I can't believe that people like that. That's weird. Okay, here we go. Pomplemousse. Pomplemousse. I don't know how to pronounce it in French, but it looks like Pomplemousse, which always reminds me of that thing in gymnastics that, they, that the people do. Uh, pommel horse. I always think that they're the same word. I'm gonna go do my gymnastics routine on the pommel mousse. Pommel mousse is grapefruit, if you don't know. I've had this many a time and I enjoy it. I feel like it's got just the right amount of flavor. Like it's not too overbearing like the tangerine is, but it's also not like super mellow either. And we do buy this from time to time. This is a flavor that we actually get and enjoy. So I feel like I'm gonna put this one in B tier. I'm feeling pretty good about pommel mousse. Pommel horse. Pommel, pan Pamela Anderson. I hope the microphone's not picking up what's going on over here. I've got like all of the barely drinking LaCroix uh, sitting over here and they are all just kind of like crackling or, you know, what is the word? Sizzling? What did sodas do? Bubbling? They're just kind of bubbling. Can you hear that? Next flavor is... All Reliable. Beautiful, elegant lime. I already know I like lime. Mm. I don't know what kind of psycho drinks pure LaCroix, like just straight up bubbly water without any flavor to it. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's what this next one is. Pure LaCroix. Actually, you know, I should take that back because I have drinking plain sparkling water before, but it was not, it was more out of necessity because we went on vacation to Mexico earlier this year and I really wanted some LaCroix, but they didn't have any. So I just kept asking for sparkling water and then putting lime in it if they had it. But sometimes they didn't have lime at the place we were staying. So I would just end up drinking plain sparkling sparkling water. And honestly, eventually I started to like it a little bit. Like it started to, it really started to, to scratch my itch, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it smells like nothing. And it tastes like nothing. That's weird. This is probably how flavored LaCroix drinks to people who aren't like used to LaCroix. It's like the sensation of drinking bubbly water that doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. It's like really weird. I don't know why, because I don't think it really tastes different than water. It's just water with bubbles in it. So it shouldn't really taste different. It's just like the feeling of bubbles being in your mouth without flavor. Well, I can say without a doubt, I would never buy that from the store. I'm gonna put this bad boy in, am I gonna put it in E or F tier? Really, what's the difference between E and F tier anyway? Is there really a, a distinct difference at this point? I'm gonna put it in E tier. Like it's it's not flavorful, which I don't like, but at least it's not like offensive. Like it's not like bitter, like the, like nasty Q. Hibiscus, this is one that I haven't tried yet. I've seen some people say they love it and some people say they hate it. To my understanding, hibiscus is a flower and I say that because we have a hibiscus at our house and it's a flower. So I, is, I was gonna say, I is not sure if this is gonna taste like a flower or not. If it does taste like a flower, I'm guessing I'm not gonna like it because that sounds gross. Like what, what am I, a bee that eats flowers? What do bees do? They eat pollen or they take the pollen? I don't know what they do, but they do something with flowers. Oh, huh. That's actually not bad. That's actually kind of good. Wow, I was not expecting to like that. It kind of tastes like, I don't know, it almost tastes like Kool-Aid or something. Like not at all what I was expecting it to taste like. 
That's good. I wish I've tasted it more. Because right now my mouth like feels kind of weird from drinking so many <laughs> sips of different flavored things so much in a row. But I feel like I want to put this in A or B tier. I feel like I can't in good confidence at this very moment put it in A tier. So I'm going to put it in B tier for now. But that is a lot better than I was expecting. Okay, moving on. Apricot. I should quickly note that uh, I don't feel so good, honestly. My tummy, it feels like it's, feels like it's honestly kind of about to explode. Uh, I feel like I've got a lot of carbonation. And I feel like I'm inflating like a balloon. Let's just keep moving on. Apricot. I've never tried this flavor before. Oh. Ew. That tastes like apricot, uh, like, for a little bit, but then also has, like, a, like, an undertone of, like, body odor or something, like, sweat. I think that's going in F tier. I don't know. There's something about that that's just sweaty. Passion fruit. I haven't tried this one either. Honestly, I couldn't even tell you what a passion fruit tastes like, so I'm kind of, kind of excited to see. Mmm. Uh-uh. Nah. This kind of has the same problem as apricot, I feel like. It's got like a weird aftertaste that tastes like sweat. Does my mouth just taste like sweat right now? That's two in a row that I've tasted kind of sweaty. Am I sweaty? No. There's something wrong with that one. It's not as bad as apricot, though. I'm gonna put this in... I think I'm gonna put that in C tier. It's just got like a little bit of sweat to it. And the more I taste it, the more it goes away. It's actually not that bad. I think I might have had some sweat taste left in my mouth from apricot. That was the problem. I gotta stop taking so many sips of each one. Like, I feel like... By now, I've drinking like a total of several cans of LaCroix, which is definitely not good for one sitting. I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm kind of kind of full of gas right now. <coughs> Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Peach pear. I have had peach pear before. I like peaches, I like pears, and I like peach pear. It's just like a little bit too much for me. Like the pear is like really distinct and I don't know, something about it, it's like really flavorful. This is one of the more flavorful cans. All right, we're coming down to the wire here. We got mango. I've never had mango, but that all ends today. Hmm, hmm, okay, okay, eh. I'm gonna put that in C. This is the last can that I have in person. That is key lime. Key lime is pretty good. I've had key lime before. Wait, is there is there a type of lime called key lime or is key lime only referring to the pie? Cause in my head, it's just a pie. But thinking about it now, I feel like key lime is like an actual type of lime. Let me Google this. The difference between a key lime and a regular lime. Okay, so key limes are, it, it is a specific type of lime. So this is kind of like lime, but different. This is good. And honestly, I'm not a fan of key lime pie. I've never had like a regular, just a plain old key lime, at least not to my knowledge. I don't think I have, um, but I like this more than I like key lime pie, but less then I like the lime LaCroix. I've also heard my friend describe this as tasting like the lime flavored Skittles, if you've ever had those. And I think that's pretty spot on. I'm gonna put it in B tier. It's a good, it's a good taste, it's a fun taste. I have bought key lime before and I've enjoyed it, but it's not one of my top picks. And last but not least, we have Limoncello. Again, I couldn't find a, a can of Limoncello, but let me just tell you, it's my favorite flavor of LaCroix of all time. It tastes like lemon, Plus like kind of like vanilla, which is uh, really different for LaCroix because most or pretty much all of these are just flavors of fruit and different mixtures of fruit with the exception of hibiscus, which is a flower. But like having that vanilla-y kind of flavor in there really takes it to the next level. It tastes like lemon cake. So if you haven't had limoncello, I would highly recommend it uh, so long as you like LaCroix. With any of my recommendations, if you don't like sparkling water or like flavored sparkling water, then there's a 100% chance you will think any flavor of LaCroix is disgusting. So keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this list. So yeah, there you have it. There's a, there's a whole bunch of LaCroix cans that I've had uh, just but a couple of sips out of. I feel like I'm about to bust and not in a good way. So uh, let me know what you think of my tier list. Let me know what kind of controversial LaCroix opinions you have. But I think that's it for this LaCroix tier list. But with all that being said, now it's time to talk about our sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the absolute easiest way to build a website for whatever your needs may be, whether it's like making a personal portfolio of your work or starting an online business, an online blog, or anything in between. They make it really easy to make a website without having to get intimidated by things like coding. If you make a website with Squarespace, you never have to code anything. It's all very visual. I've built websites with Squarespace before and I have no knowledge of like HTML or anything like that. They've got really beautiful templates you can start from and they'll look good right off the bat. All you gotta do is fill in all the blanks and you've got like a beautiful looking website right from the go and you can customize it from there if you want to. You can add things to your website really easily like an online store. You can add video if you want to embed video for people to play or audio with audio blocks. You can have multiple contributors to your website so if 
you have like business partners or friends that you run a website with, you can easily give them access to also edit your website. But it's not just easy to build the website, it's easy to maintain and keep your audience growing and up to date as well. You can use email campaigns, they've got great traffic analytics, so you can look at how many people are coming to your website, what types of people are coming to your website. You can also use Squarespace to post to all of your other socials. So if you run a business and you want to let everybody know about a new product or something on your Facebook, your Tumblr, and your Twitter, you can post to all of them at once using Squarespace. So if all that sounds good to you, you want to start a website for your business or a personal project, or you just want to mess around and see what Squarespace is all about, head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Danny to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I'm thanking you guys for checking out Squarespace. It really helps when you check out my sponsors. It helps me get more in the future. So I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm probably going to go explode from all the carbonation in my tummy tum tum. Bye.